let us look at a what if scenario a what if scenario has been used by different functional areas and it is also available on excel but by using it on power bi we can make it even more dynamic now this is a little different to other things that we have already done and let's take a small example i want to create a line chart and in this we want to keep our sales amount and our order date so for nothing complicated we can just see a simple chart like this now here's my question what if we wanted to show different scenarios that means for scenario a you want to say that what if we had a stretch target of 10% for scenario 2 what if we had a stretch target of 20% for scenario 3 what if we had a stretch target of 30% that means that i want to compare this actual versus certain estimates that i had which are internal estimates that i had because we want to create a scenario we will click on modeling and then select new parameter this means we can create a what if parameter and make changes to our data so we click on this let's call this target let's call this estimate the data type is a whole number we can also make it a decimal number if we want to so let's make it a decimal number between 0 and let's say 0.2 and the increment would be 0.05 like this and there is an option called add slicer to this page make sure to select that when you press okay you will notice that a new table has been created this one called estimate and there are two things here one is estimate which is a generate series between 0 to 0.2 with an interval of 0.05 and a estimate value as well which is a selected value let's see how we work with it as you can see when i move the slider the number is also changing let me change it into a list that would be better and now what we want to do is we want the target to be shown or rather the estimate to be shown on the original chart which is simple enough what we will do is to create a measure and say that our estimated sales is equal to my actual sales which is total sales multiplied by the estimate value that means the value that the user is choosing here will get multiplied by the total sales and that's it once you have found the estimated sales you can put the estimated sales as a value in the line chart now right now you can see that it is only showing you one line even though there are two lines you can't see the other one but when you select watch carefully when you select different numbers you're getting a second line here right but why is this so small think about it we are taking the sales value and we are multiplying it by 0.05 but that's not really what we want to do right what we want to do is to basically multiply it by 1 plus the estimate value that means if the sales is 100 then it will be 100 into 1 plus 0.05 which is 100 into 1.05 which is 105 let's see the result now this time you notice that when i select 0 the two lines are completely matching with each other but when i show a 5% estimate or a 10% or a 15% or a 20% you can see how my actual which is the light blue and the estimate are differing in their gap like this So this is just a quick example. Of course, uh, there is a lot more that you can do with it. But what if scenarios can be very handy 
when you want to give control to the end user and you want them to decide what scenarios and estimates they want to match that's why it's called the what if scenario very powerful very easy to use the process is a little different but once you get the hang of it it's very simple